Bill Wade. I'm a retired Tampa Fire Captain, and I'm currently the president of the Tampa Firefighters Museum. We're inside the Tampa Firefighters Museum. This building was built in 1911 to be the Tampa Fire Department headquarters and main fire station downtown. As the city developed, as it became more urban, as it became more metropolitan, so did this building have to adapt to those changes. And it adapted very well through the 1940s, 50s, and 60s, and somewhere in the 1970s, it could no longer keep up with the growth of the city, and a modern fire station had to be built. Fortunately, it's just right across the street. When this building went out of service as a fire station in the 1970s, it basically became a warehouse for the city of Tampa, and it was slated for demolition. A group of firefighters got with the city administration in the 1990s and proposed that this building be turned into a museum. After a lot of hard work, sweat, and, and personal effort, this building was turned over to the nonprofit Tampa Firefighters Museum, Inc. in the 1990s. Then the real work had to begin salvaging the building and turning it into the museum that it is today. My name is Steve Fredlin. I'm the secretary of the Tampa Firefighters Museum. So I happened to have been hired by the fire department in March of 1978, and this was my first permanent station assigned to this fire station number one. I'm ecstatic about this building being able to be preserved. Every time I walk up those stairs, going up to the dormitory area and where the main offices were the fire department, I have some pretty uh, vivid memories of that. I enjoyed being on the fire department helping people, and that's what it meant to me to go out and try to help people in the time of, of need. Um, I really enjoyed that. It was an exciting job. Uh, we never knew what we were going to be doing from one minute to the next. We could be at the bottom of a ship in the port or we could be at the top of one of the high rises for a lightning strike or something of that nature. So it was, it was pretty uh, fulfilling and it was interesting and it was very rewarding to, to be a firefighter. The goal of this museum is to house the history of Tampa Fire Department and Tampa Fire Rescue, the stories, the equipment, and how that equipment and those stories have changed through the years that have come so far and how they'll change into the future. There's a place to warehouse now those stories and that equipment and show it to the public. It's very important to hold on to this history because once pieces of history are gone, they're lost, you never really can recover them. A small room in the Tampa Fire Museum is a very important room, it's our memorial room. It's the room where we have all of the line of duty deaths that have occurred throughout the history of Tampa Fire Department. That's where we pay respect to the firefighters who have paid the, the ultimate price in serving our community. When we started the museum here, I saw what an importance it was to, uh, for the preservation of the history of the fire department. And, and really, we can't really tell where we're going unless we know, have a good firm grasp of the past. And so that was part of the, part of the, my interest in being involved with it. I feel very good that I'm a part of somebody trying to help hold on to the history of not only the fire department, but emergency services in general. Once again, as a young person, you don't really appreciate history as much as you do when you get a little bit older. When I look back at the changes that the department went through just during my 30 years that I was on it, I, I, I'm glad that some of that history has been saved and now my children are starting to get into the fire and EMS service and I want them to have a strong understanding not only of where they are now but where they came from so they know where they're going.